Okay. What's a re what's a recent experience that you that changed your perspective on life? Hmm. A recent experience. Mother, I need to think about this. A recent experience. <laughs> the feet, <laughs> Ladina. The feet. Um, I'm trying to think. Perhaps you met a client. I'm trying to help you out a little bit. Better. The client. <laughs> no, I think. Uh -huh. I, 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 am, um, I think that working in this field, you would have very, very um, frequent experiences that change your life and change your perspective on the daily, literally. So, so it's, it's, it's incredible how, it ha how often it happens. And before I said, when, when, when we opened, when we started, you said, how are you? And I said, I'm happy that I have this space where I can just think and be in the moment. Because most of the time, these are the, 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 the experiences that I would go from one to the next without reflecting on how these would have um, changed my life. Um, working with children, something that always inspires me is... Um, is their sense of gratitude and selflessness. So this is something that I have, I can't say it's something recent because it's something that from time to time I, I experience, but I remember experiencing it the first time I, I the on, on my first, one of my first shifts um, at work. I remember there was a child who had, um, who had two euros um, given to him by, by, by a family member and he asked us to go with him to buy some sweets and we had another client with us and he told this client come stuff from these euros buy something for yourself as well so we'll, we'll split them and at that point in time it was um, it was it was it, it left me speechless because to see a child who has so little um but who would be willing to share it with someone else so selflessly hmm. um, is, 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 is great. And something that I also um, experience, um, which always change, changes my perspective. Um, I work in, with children in care. And most of the time we might think that because of the home environment not being stable enough, Alternative care may be the best um, solution, which at times it is. But sometimes we fail to, to keep in mind that no matter how dysfunctional the family of origin may be, children have a longing to, to, to be with their biological family. There is this connection. So I think as professionals, it would be foolish for us to think that we can eradicate that connection and it is within our responsibility to to support both the child and the family unit to build a healthy connection but the connection needs to be to, to stay there mm. because children i think we all do but but it, it is manifested in children um, very 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 well um children have this longing have this wish to have this connection with their roots in terms of identity, in terms of where I come from, in terms mm -hmm. of, of, of what made me. So, so that is something that, that I, I think has changed my perspective over the years. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. And thank you for being here. I think you had a, we had a, a pleasant conversation. I hope so. Uh, I enjoyed it. I, I didn't expect <laughs> that we're going to touch upon specific topics with the angle that we took them from. So, um, um, and I appreciate your input as well, because for some psychology, it's not something that I'm, I'm, I'm usually exposed to. So that, that perspective is not something that I usually encounter really frequently. So um, thank you for, for, for sharing your insight. And hopefully this was a, a pleasant experience for you as well. It definitely um, was. And hopefully this will give you some, some reflection as well. It will definitely give me a lot to ponder upon. <laughs> thank so you, Deborah. thank you for the space. You're thank welcome. you so much.